All right, I got a 2015 F-150 with a free 5 EcoBoost. And it was brought in with this noise here, as you can hear. So, the engine's running really rough. It's misfiring on these two cylinders right here. And if you grab these, uh, you touch these phaser valves here, there's a sharp rattling noise and a feel coming from them as well. So I know that there's something going on on this side bank. But they also complained that it was leaking oil. And I looked over here, before I took the cover off, this dipstick tube is just sitting out like that. And it covered the whole driver's side of the engine with oil, as you can see. And uh, I checked the oil, nothing on the dipstick. This engine was over four quarts low on oil. So I filled the oil up, started it up, and I'm still getting the noise over there. So I don't know if something's been internally damaged or what, but yeah, this engine was four quarts low on oil. And that dipstick doesn't really sit in there very tight. It just kind of just kind of rests in there, kind of snaps in, and that's it. But there's oil everywhere on this engine. And all I can think of is somebody didn't have the, somebody must have pulled that dipstick out and not put it in the rest of the way. It had an, hasn't had an oil change, 7,600 miles and no oil change, so I know it's due for an oil change. But it had 27 codes, yeah, that's right, 27 codes set in the engine control module. Bunch of timing codes, misfire codes. But that's what a timing issue sounds like on the 3.5 EcoBoost. I have a feeling it was due to being run low on oil. So you can see now we got 29 codes <laughs> so it's set two more since I just scanned it last I went ahead and pulled the passenger side valve cover off and this is when things got really interesting and really nasty. So there's the valve cover over there. Got the gasket off. The other parts there. It's pretty easy to get to. I found that the passenger side exhaust camshaft phaser had actually grenaded to a certain extent. As you can see down in there, here's a piece of the phaser right there. It's just sitting there. So my guess is that this engine ran low on oil and starved the phaser and we got metal on metal eventually just broke. There's one piece. As you can see, we got nice metal along the cylinder head there. But yeah, that, that phaser is just broke. And I can't get to it. I'm going to try it with a magnet. But if you look down behind the timing cover, you can actually see one of the springs from the phaser as well. It's going to be difficult to see. show up here but there's a spring sitting down there behind the timing cover there it is see a little coil there you can see the little spring down in there so this definitely did come apart and fix is gonna be have to put a new phaser in it but at the same time all this metal concerns me as well because even here, throughout the engine, I'll show you. If I take my pocket screwdriver with a magnet on it. Get metal. So you can see, 
we're getting some metal there. There's a lot right here in this valley, but I since knocked it off, I can pick up some more here, I believe. Yeah, there we go. There's some more metal. You can see the metal. So yeah, there's some nasty looking metal here. Yeah, it's good stuff. 